going on everybody? So another company has started doing changes to their claw machines as well. If you remember one of my videos back, I filmed at Gopher's Grill when I won a basketball out of that toy soldier. The smaller toy soldier they got there that's a dollar a play. That machine now has squeak toys in it. The squeaky toys. And footballs. And it also has rubber tips on the claw there as well. Now, I paid the visit to the mall last night. And noticed that there's rubber tips on it too. Now, rubber tips on the plush claw. Can it make or break you being a vendor? Well, it could possibly break the company. Because if you think about it, it also depends on how weak the claw is. Now, can it break the player? Possibly. Because if you were to win something, there's a possibility your prize could get stuck in the claw. Because of them rubber tips. But it could also make it easier for you as the player to win something that could be harder to win without the rubber tips in the first place. So tonight, what I'm thinking about doing is actually going to the mall and actually seeing if it will make or break the company, in my opinion. If I do not win, I'm not going to post it because it's going to be a trial. And I'll give you my opinion on that in a different in a video. So, But I will definitely show you the machine in one separate video. And I'll explain to you what I'm talking about when I get to, to that location. Um... If, when I show you guys the rubber tips, or you can even post your opinions, thoughts in the comments below of this video here that I'm doing right now. If you guys want to, go ahead and put your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Also, be sure to keep the comments positive um, and kind, more or less. I just want to know what your thoughts are, if it can make or break the company. Me personally, it could possibly break the company because it can help the machine pay out more, in my opinion. So we will see what's going to happen. So we'll see.